Hey Vinyl Community, Mike Metal Mickey started a thread. Um, uh, 90s death metal explained to aliens. Um, I could have pulled uh, the key by uh, Nocturnus, but I think aliens brought us uh, that record anyway. So, Mike had a few categories. Um, and asked us um, for other countries. So I've got a few examples here. I've got categories. I've got um, nine different countries. And as uh, death metal originated in the US, um, I've got Florida and the rest of the US. In Mike's honor, let's start in uh, the UK. I'd go for for victory by ball thrower. Um, I pulled out that one because it's melodic, it's uh, brutal, it's uh, very uh, listenable. So that one would be a good start to explain what death metal is all about. Next up let's go over to the Netherlands. Aliens would like to know what death metal sounded like. Um, I go for uh, the Eindhoven Insanity by Gorefest. This one has been recorded in 1993 at the Dynamo Open Air. It's got um, almost all the songs uh, from their false album and one song from the debut uh, Mind Loss. So, uh, The Eindhoven Insanity by Gorefest. Germany. I could have pulled out Morgoth. They were the biggest band uh, for the death metal scene in Germany. Um, I could have pulled out Atrocity, also pretty big over here. But I decided to go for some more obscure stuff. So this is a Dark Millennium's Ashore, the Celestial Burden. Excellent, excellent death metal album. A little bit strange, <laughs> as you can see by the cover. Mike, if you don't know that one, you might enjoy this. Um, they're a little bit similar to, to Morgoth, they are from the same area. The vocals sound a little bit like Mark Grebe. Um, a little doomy stuff, a little weird stuff. So. For Germany, I go with a Dark Millennium's uh, Shaw the Celestial Burden. French death metal. A lot of uh, French death metal band had uh, bands had a um, more of a thrash metal background, uh, like uh, Aggressor, for example, or uh, Massacre, or. No return. So I did these. This next band was um, a thrash metal band as well, but with this album they started their uh, death metal career. So this is Loud Blasts Disincarnate from 1991. Again. Still a little bit of a thrash in here, but uh, when you're talking older death metal, uh, the thrash metal influences are, um, you can't deny them. So, France, Disincarnate by Loud Blast. Let's move over to Finland. What about Exisma with the album Yeah. 
and that's what's playing in uh, the background. So you've got a little bit of uh, these burpy uh, grindcore vocals, a little bit of grindcore left in there because they started as a, a pure uh, grind band. But this one has a lot of groove, um, so uh, you might call some of that stuff death and roll a little bit. So Finland, this is Exisma with the album, yeah. Okay, Sweden. I could have pulled out a ton of Swedish old school death metal albums. <coughs> but I decided uh, to go for a more melodic stuff um, from Gothenburg and no it's not in flames and no it's not sacrilege and no I'm sorry it's not at the gates I go for Dark Tranquility's uh, very first album Sky Dancer this is melodic uh, this is fast it's got some uh, folk influences. There you go. Original first press. They had Anders from In Flames in the band. So uh, In Flames and uh, Dark Tranquility actually, in the by the beginning of their career, um, they switched singers. And as you can see, my copy is signed by Anders. So the melodic side of a Swedish death metal, Dark Tranquility with a Sky Dancer. <clears throat> Austria. Austria had a pretty huge uh, death metal scene in the 90s, uh, Belfigore started in the 90s. Uh, you had bands like uh, Disharmonic Orchestra and, of course, Pungent Stench with Bean Caught Buttering. <coughs> Although this is a pure death metal album, there's a little bit of funk in there, believe it or not, a little bit of uh, death and roll again. And it's just a weird, weird record with um, uh, hmm. how could I explain that? People with a bad taste or a sick humor should check out uh, Bean Caught Buttering. I love this record. Another country next to uh, Germany is Switzerland. Huh, Switzerland, the death metal scene in Switzerland is not very big. There were a couple of underground bands, um, but I decided to go. There you go again. Messiah, Choir of Horrors. They, all, they also started as a um, chaotic, primitive uh, thrash metal band, but on that one uh, with their new vocalist Andy, they started to play more of a death metal style. So, like I said, you can't deny the thrash metal influences in uh, the old death metal stuff. So I go for Messiah's 1991 album Choir of Horrors. That brings us to Florida. I thought about that a little bit but I uh, couldn't resist to pull out Spiritual Healing by Death. If you want to describe death metal, um, the first two I could not uh, pull because um, they were from the 80s but that one came out in 1990 so uh, there we go one of the uh, founders of uh, death metal in general 
Death with uh, the album Spiritual Healing. This one is a little bit technical, it's a little bit melodic. A perfect record to start your death metal journey. And last one, rest of the US. There's such a wide range uh, to go, but one of my favorites this uh, represents a little bit uh, more of the brutal side of death metal. So I go for Immolation's Dawn of Possession, uh, their debut album. Recorded in Germany by Harris Jones. But <laughs> Maybe that, that makes uh, a little bit of the difference. Everybody in America was Nearly everybody was producing at Morris Sound Studios. If uh, that one uh, would have been produced uh, by uh, Scott Burns, I don't think that would be as unique as it is now. Still, to this day, my favorite Immolation album. So, uh, there you go. Immolation's Dawn of Possession. So, that's it. I thought I would do that video uh, tonight because I have a driving day today and had the time to think but uh, my thinking went very quick uh, that might have been uh, the coffee I had this morning so <laughs> there you go enjoy it uh, join in and watch Mike's video if you haven't I'm sure you have by now so stay tuned See you soon.